Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank y'all so much for y'all's patience. I'm so glad that y'all are here. It has been, it's been kind of chilly today. I it's, it was a nice day, but then it was cold. And then it was, it was a little warm. Then it was just, it's just cold now. <laughs> it's a little cold outside, not super cold. And it started raining. It's raining now. You got a little light rain in my, in my area. Hey, Gizmo, Gizmo over here. Coughing. <laughs> You all right, Gizmo? You good? Teddy, you good? We got Teddy over there and Raven down here. So we're doing well. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm glad to see y'all. So welcome in, everybody. So glad to see you. So um, I do have, I did finish the uh, one of the other pot holders that I was working on to get rid of some of this yarn. That's this one right here. I did finish it. So I'm happy about that. Put a little thingy my bobby on it. <laughs> and, and this is it. So I got three of these done. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, towels, hanging dish towels to go with these. And um, I started it and just doing single crochet. What is wrong with you, Gizmo? She's sneezing over there. I don't know what she got up her nose, but she was chasing a rabbit today, guys. She chased a rabbit. She didn't catch it, but she certainly did chase after it. Uh, <laughs> but it's all good. But um, So I'm going to work on this towel. I think I'm going to do about 50 rows, 51 rows, maybe 52 rows of um, single crochets and then begin to Get ready to work on the decrease with that. Yep. So, yeah. But before I do that, I do want to greet everybody. Teddy's over here. Um, and also, I want to uh, just uh, put this out there. Y'all just send up prayers for the people who, um, who um, had experienced the... Um, the bridge collapsing today, uh, the early this morning over there in uh, Baltimore, Maryland. I have friends in Baltimore, Maryland, and I've crossed that bridge plenty of times. Uh, so feel free to uh, just lift those people up in prayer. Um, uh, there's some people that they have not found yet, but uh, I don't know if they're search still searching or whatnot. I haven't checked, but... I believe they probably are. So uh, just keep them in prayer. Uh, wow, it's just, you know, you wouldn't expect something like that to happen. But wow. And that that, about, that bridge was about a two-mile bridge. So just keep everybody lifted up in prayer. Okay. Thank you so much for those who, who will do that. Also, I'm going to go ahead and greet everybody that has come in the chat because I missed you coming on in. So let me go ahead and say hello. We got the Victoria kid and she said, I'm going to make a promise, but might not stay longer long. I don't think. Oh, OK. OK. No worries. No worries. Welcome in, Victoria. Glad to see you, Jenna Egan. Honey, welcome in. Katrina's crochet hook. And the loops, welcome in. Sandra Atkinson, honey, welcome in. See, Cammy, Cammy the Yarny Horseman, welcome in. We got uh, Gail uh, Kearney, honey, welcome in. Good to see y'all. We got Sharonda Foreman, honey, Nicole, girl, welcome in. We got uh, Yarn Works and Crafts and More by Lydia. Welcome in, Lydia. And we got Terry Johnson. Hey, Terry Johnson, welcome in. Angela Precious World, welcome in. We got uh, Dozer Gets Crafty. Welcome in, honey. Good to see you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It is something out here, guys. I'm telling you what. Life be out here, life and fam. I ain't even gonna kid you. You said Dozer gets crafty. He says, I'm slow. I'm so slow Tunisian. I swear I did like five rows today, which takes me like 15 minutes a row, and my blanket only grew an inch. Oh, that's okay. Listen, hey, 
Dozer gets crafty, honey. Take your sweet time. Hey, listen, the, you are in no race, <laughs> but you, you, you out here doing all the things. So that is a blessing. Yes. That's a blessing that you make in a Tunisian uh, blanket. I'm telling you, I started one and I, I said, you know what? I'm going to do one another day. I took that whole thing apart and did a different type of blanket with that yarn. <laughs> so yes, Marsha is blind stitch is creations, honey. How are you? She said, Hey, Kelly boo. And everyone in the chat, what's up? How's everybody doing? Listen, I am doing okay. I pray that you are doing okay as well. Let's see. I'm praying you're doing okay. What's well, good. To, uh, good that, to have you here, Marsha. You said praying for those workers who are presumed dead. Yes, they were workers on the bridge. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. My good gracious family. I'm telling you, it's been something. Thank y'all so much for all the prayers lifted up for those one, uh, those people there for sure. Hey, Nana Michelle. She said, hi, everyone. Prayers for sure. And now I already don't like bridges and this is just confirming my dislike of them. Yeah. I understand that. I understand that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, VJ's uh, crochet, honey. Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. And we got scrap tap, scrap tastic crocheter, honey. Welcome in. Good to see you. Thank y'all for being here. I really do appreciate you being here. So I'm going without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Let's see where, let's see what you're saying. She said, I'm doing great, blessed and highly favored. Same prayers to those who are in need. Yes. We just going to lift everybody up in prayer because honey, I ain't even going to kid you. That, that thing shook me. I didn't, I was like, what? Especially when it's, um, you're familiar with that area and oh my God, even though I, I live in Ohio, but I have uh, great friends that live in, in, uh, Maryland and, um, Baltimore, we've, we've been over that bridge several times, <laughs> you know, so, um, yeah, so we're just going to keep everybody lifted up in prayer, but I'm going to go ahead and share this song. And, uh, if you want to bring your crafts up and hang out, feel free to do so. But I finished all of the, uh, like I said, the pot holders, that's one, this is two, and this is a three. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. So I'm making a dish towel, a hanging dish towel with this. And we're going to see how that comes out. We're going to see what it looks like. I got to get some more toggles. I'm a, I got, uh, I know I got some more toggles around here, but I'm going to get some more so I can uh, make a couple more uh, dish towels with it. Only because y'all know I have got to get, uh, you know, I always say this, I got to get rid of this yarn. This yarn got to go. This is my squirrel moment, everybody. I have, listen, uh, there's things I need to work on that I have not completed and I'm okay with that. Uh, but this right here, I want to get rid of this yarn. You feel me? So if you want to come up and crochet with me, feel free or craft whatever craft you're working on. And what are y'all working on? What's in y'all's cup? And what's on y'all's hook? Let me go ahead and drop the invite. And while I'm dropping the invite, y'all, we're going to sing this song. Y'all ready? <laughs> Woo! We're going to sing. Come on in the room. How about that? Y'all ready? Let's go. Come on in the room. Uh-huh. Come on in the room. Hey, hey. Jesus is my doctor. He writes out. All of my scriptures gives me all of my medicine in the room. Oh, so come on, come on in the room. Let's see what you're saying out here. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Kelly, I got an order for 50 hats. What? Come on, let's go. Let's go, Janet Egan. 
congrats on that. Yes, I love to hear it. That is awesome. You singing out here in these streets too, Dozer? That's great. That's great. Yeah, all right. All right. Hello. Hello, Raven's right here. She's wanting to be a little nosy. You want to say hi to everybody, Raven? Raven wants to come and say hello to you all. So I'm going to let her come up here and say hello. Okay, Raven. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is my heavy, heavy girl. All right, Raven. It is your time to say hello. No, well, you, girl, I had to go into work today. So when I have to go into work, they're a little bit more clingy. But this is Raven. Raven, say hello to everyone. You're just going to stare at everybody, huh? This this is what we're doing. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to let Cammy come up here with us, Raven, okay? Let's go grab Cammy. Y'all give it up for our brother Cammy coming in the room. Hey, Cammy. Hello. Hello. Raven, you going to say hello to Cammy? You going to say hello? He's like, hmm. All right. <laughs> All right, Raven, I got to put you down. You, you want to sit in a chair? Here, why don't you sit on this chair? chair. And uh, I'm bringing her her chair over so she can sit up here so she won't feel like she's, I'm completely picking her out, but <laughs> you can sit right there. Here, you can turn her. Oh, gosh. This way so you can see. See? There you go. All right, there she is. All right, so welcome in everybody. Let's see what we're saying in the chat. We got, let's see, Marcia's saying, I'm working on the butterfly stitch prayer shawl by Fiber Spider. Oh, okay, for Miss Linda's contest. All right, well, that's great. And then we got Gail. Says coke in my cup and my made a pot holder. Now I'm making a hot pad. It was your pattern. Looks great. The pot hot pad is the thermal stitch. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, we got uh we got a sister from another mister. She is in the basement. We're gonna bring her on up to the panel. Y'all give it up for our sister Lydia. Hey Lydia. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hello. How are you doing? Good. Well, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for coming in and uh, hanging out with us today. Yeah. I appreciate that for sure. All right. Let's see. We got some wonderful things. Uh, wonderful people saying some things in chat. Let me go ahead and greet some people I missed. We got Paula Hi, Mueller. Sandra. Hi, Paula. Yes. Hey, hey, Paula. How you doing? Welcome in. Yes. And let's see, we got, uh, Marcia says that would be awesome. Lydia. I would like that. Oh, that's so yeah, sweet. She just add me on Facebook. So I can. All right. That's great. And and so, you. Welcome. Thank you. Awesome. Then we got natural Nene is here. Welcome in natural Nene. She said, hello everyone. All right. So, um, well, we are, we're here, uh, family up here on the, uh, panel. Uh, I want to see, uh, Cammy, what's on your hook? Lydia, what's on your hook? I'm making, well, Cammy's seen it before, but you have not seen it because, um, uh, my phone stopped working on StreamYard. Oh, so no. I have a laptop. So All right. I do everything on my laptop now. Okay. Um, I've been making a rainbow striped blanket. Look at that blanket. Y'all, look how beautiful that is. Let me make you big. Oh, my, Lydia. How beautiful is, is that? It's a size blanket. I love it. I love all those colors. Oh, man, that is nice. And I'm using this yarn right here. Oh, yes, I love that yarn. It's so pretty and bright. It's so pretty and bright. So that's what I've been working on. Well, that's very nice. Thanks for sharing that. You're welcome. Mm -hmm, for sure. Cammy, what you got going on up here, my friend? A chain. All right. Well, let me, let's let's make that chain big. We might as well make it big. Look at look at that chain. 
Look so at it's, that chain. Mm -hmm. It's gonna um it's gonna be a chevron uh dishcloth. Okay. All right. How big a chain we got there? What we starting uh, off with? Two multiples of 14, which makes 28. 28. Plus four plus equals four, 32. 32. That's about right. Yep. 32 is that number. That's what I'm doing for uh, this uh, dish towel that I'm making. I'm making a ha hanging dish towel. And uh, I did. Piche. Hmm? After I get it done, Piche, I will put it on your Facebook group when I get done with it. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. Let's see. Um, oh, Paula said, I'm doing fine. Thank you. And she said, that is beautiful, Lydia. Thank you. And Paula. Gail said, pretty, Lydia. And Thank we you. got Knitting with Zuni. Hello, Knitting with Zuni. Welcome in. Or is it Zoni? I don't know if I'm saying it right. I hope I'm saying it right. Zoom. That's what I would think, Zuni. Yeah, for sure. And VJ said, beautiful. Thank you. Yes. And um, Gail Kearney says, ooh, sounds pretty, pretty, Cammy. Yeah. And Knitting with the Zuni says, beautiful. Absolutely. And uh, VJ says, thank you, Lydia. Yeah. And Natural Nene said, very pretty. And Michelle Morgan. Hey, Michelle Morgan. Hello. Says, love the colors, Lydia. Very pretty. Thank you. Um, I And Gail said, I'd like to know the pattern you're using, Kelly. I like to have the pot holder and a towel. So I'm just kind of going off of my mind here with the towel. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do probably about 51 to 52 stitches maybe. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I'm going to do uh, a slip stitch at the 52nd uh, row. And then I'm going to do probably a single crochet space, single crochet space, single crochet, all the way to the end. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. And um, then I'm going to start to decrease to make the towel. And then I'll make the, so I'm just kind of going off. So you probably have to wait till I finish to see what it's going to look like. And I can kind of tell you from there. So I'm just kind of going off of my mind. I may even change the fact that I just said I use a slip stitch for when I get ready to make that change. I might change it to another stitch. I haven't decided yet. Or I might just do a single crochet space, single crochet or something like that. I, I don't know yet. At Gail, uh, D-O-G has Hanging towel patterns. Who's DOG? I've never heard of DOG. I haven't either. Who's who are you talking about, uh, VJs? Because I've never heard heard of. It. If you want to, uh, VJs, feel free to drop a link of that particular pattern or 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 that channel. That has that pattern which you're talking about. Because I'm just I'm just single crocheting it. You said misspell. Okay. Oh, you meant bag of day. <laughs> oh, bag of day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sure she has some. Yeah. I'm just kind of just going off of um the reason why I'm sticking with the single crochet is because this is single crochet, and I kind of want it to match a little, so that's why I'm not. Uh, doing any fancy, uh, fancy um, pattern with this, especially with the way this yarn is turning out. Um, what it's doing, I think it's nice. So yeah. So that's that's all I'm doing. Is How's like we get the weather. The weather has been needing its. Um, my weather here in Ohio, shall. It needs to have its meds. It needs to go to the pharmacy and get its meds because it is always doing something different with the weather. Yesterday was freezing like winter. 
And then today, earlier, it was it was like a nice spring day, but then it, it got cold and then it rained. And so it's raining now. And now, oh, okay, now the weather's back to where it needs to be. It's now it's 56 degrees. Mother Nature needs to uh by need medicine. That's what I'm saying. They but gotta go. The weather more. yes, the weather needs its meds. That's all I can say. It needs its meds because this right here is doing the most. Do you feel it's me? It's very freezing. It's cold here. Day it was only high 30. Oh, really? Yesterday we had rain all day. Yeah. But it was supposed to be a snow blizzard, but we yeah. didn't have snow where we are at. But of a part of Nebraska, we got, they got snow, but not here. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, yeah. The weather is confusing, I must say. Um, what are you saying, Anna Michelle? She said, rain rain go away it's been raining since i got up this morning you know we in this ohio weather nana michelle it don't know what it's doing it's out here doing the most mm-hmm yeah then michelle come up on the piano i want to see you yeah it, yeah if you want to come up nana michelle feel free to do so my dear you know anyone can come up just bring your crafts with you and let's Let's get Jiggy with it together. That's let's, let's um I haven't seen her for a long time. Yes. Yeah, I just I love everybody in here and I love seeing our lot yarny people come up here um to hang out. I'm gonna just drop the link again. So if you want to, you're more than welcome to come up on the panel. Feel free to do so. Hey, hey come up on the panel. I want to see you too. <laughs> That's, that's if you want to. If you don't, I don't want you. No pressure, no pressure. But if you want to, feel free to do so. Hey, Raven. She jumped back up here. So when I go into work, you know, I have to go in the office and I come home. They, my dogs are a little bit more clingy than normal. So Raven is sitting over here. Gizmo is, where is, oh, Gizmo's over there. And Teddy's in here, so. They get a little clingy, so. Of course, they miss your, their mommy. They miss me being at work, yeah, for sure. For sure. So, yep, so this is going to be a hanging dish towel when I get done with it. I got, um, I have um, one toggle. I know I got more toggles than that here. They're around here somewhere. Shall I be misplacing stuff? I'll be out here losing pieces and parts. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, sometimes it happens, but I got to get some more of the tacos. I think this will be great. I need to use those kind of stuff, but I want to make finish this blanket up before summer hits. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing here. I have my gaming pillow. I'm sitting with my gaming pillow. It's really helpful for my um, arms and stuff. Let me uh, let me show you what it looks like. It's shaped like a U. This is it, and I oh, put my wow. arm right here. I can sit up here and. I need something like that. Oh yeah, wrap it around and and just. And it's just so much better. Oh, my gosh. I feel so comfortable with it like this, you know. I left my uh, my tension ring downstairs, and um, but that's okay. My tension ring is downstairs, and my glove. I usually wear when I'm crocheting a lot. Like if I want to crochet a little faster or nonstop, I have my... A glove. It's around here somewhere. I think I have it in this bag right here. And I don't know where I put my uh I need body. to buy some of those gloves for my hands. Oh yeah, you gotta get one. Get get you one. Um it's a crafter's glove. Just look it up on, on um Amazon and if you know and you get the size you need and uh 
it should be fine. I have one here. I actually have two for myself because just in case I misplaced one, I got a, another one. I use them both, but. What do, what are they call? A crafter's uh, glove. Here, let me, um, what I'll do is I'll pull it up on Amazon so you can see what it looks like. Oh, my hair's in my mouth. Oh, let's not do that. Okay, hair. All right, let me. Let me pull it up so you can see what it looks because like. Because that way we hope my hands not hurt. Yeah. So much. Mm -hmm. And you can crochet longer. Let's see. Um, let me put crafters. Let me see crafters. Because I would buy some. I'll show you the ones. Uh, the one that I have that I use for crocheting. Let's see. Do they have it? Usually one. It usually comes one glove. Let me see. Where is it? Let me see. Where is it? At? That's where I can crochet more. Let me see. Where is it at? Here it is. It's a. It's called a craft glove. Let me show you the one that I have. It comes uh, one in a pack. You can get two if you want. Um, but, but let me show you. This is the one that I have. It shows when I purchased it last. It was which was in a. To the, here, let me just do this. All right, let me go ahead and I'm gonna share my screen so you can see this. So anybody that is crafting that doesn't have. A glove, honey. I rep recommend these for sure. Uh, here, let me show you what I got here. Let me share my screen so you can see. This is it right here. This is the one that I have. Um, it says therapeutic. It's a craft glove, size medium. Therapeutic comfort for crafting hands. It relieves pain and stiffness common in arthritis, carpal tunnel, and tendonitis. It provides warmth and reduces stress while you craft. You'll craft longer, longer in more comfort. I think that meant to say, I don't know what that is, but I think they meant to put longer there. Um, so you get one glove and it fits your right or your left hand. It just depends on how you want to wear it. So that's it. And this glove is only $8.99 family. Um, I bought this a long time ago and it'll show you. Yeah, see, I bought this in, I purchased it in uh, 2001. That's the last time I purchased one. I, one I bought from, uh, they had it at um, Joann's. If you can find it at Joann's, you're good. But some, I, I can't guarantee that they'll have them. But I can guarantee that you can get it off of Amazon. So it's $8.38. For this particular one, um, I don't know what this one is, but this is another one. I haven't seen this one. Is it the same? So this is Thergonomic. This one uh, is provides comfort and relief from uh, pain and stiffness of arthritis, tendonitis, carpal tunnel, and other repetition, rep uh, repetitive motion activities as at work, hobbies, and play. So either one, I'm sure, would work, but I know which one that I do have. I have the one that's blue. I have the one that came in this pack. So it's totally up to you what you want to get. Um, and, and that's it. Just wanted to share that with you. Thank you. I'm going to look at my Amazon right now. Okay. okay, Kelly. Kelly, this is what I've done so far. Okay, let me make a cami big. We're gonna see what he get out here getting jiggy with. All right, look at you. Oh wow, well, Cammy. That's great, Cammy. And I was gonna cast on another dishcloth, but I can't find my needles. No, they jumped somewhere. They didn't. They done ran out. I hate when that happens. Let's see. Yeah, that that be happening, fam. So, oh, Thank there you, you go, Michelle. Cam. All right, 
bring it back in. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Marsha said it is raining here too in Lawrenceville, Georgia, since midday. Still pouring heavy outside. Yeah, that rain is something crazy. We got Roseanne Alexander. Hello, Roseanne. Welcome in. Good to see you. And then we have, let's see, uh, BJ says, I have that, but I have the Lion brand one. You get two gloves. Yes, I have those too. And I use those. Um, that's if I am going to be knitting that I use both of them. I'll show you the one that I got from Lion Brand. I think it's Lion Brand. I think, are they blue uh, VJs? Because I'll show you the ones I have uh, as well. Oh, I did. Now I'm going to get it. Okay. Let me show you the one that I have uh, for uh, the gloves. Let's see. Let me see. I think it's um, this one. Let's see. Let me see if it's, I know it's in here. I'm going to show you the other one that I, the other one. So I have, I be out here buying love family. Let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Let's see. Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. Welcome in, Laura. I'm looking for something I want to share with you all. Hold on. I know I got them in here because I bought them as well. I found the missing needles. You did? Where, Where were they? they? They were playing 10 needles jumping on the bed and fell off. What? Yeah. They were playing 10 needles jumping on the bed and... This pair fell off. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. So today I go into the cat room and everybody except for one kitty cat got adopted. Oh, cool. I'd be and right back, Kelly. Okay, no worries. I'm going to show you this other pair of gloves that I have as well. Okay, wait, wait. Go ahead. Okay, let me go ahead and share this with you because I think this is... Uh, because it are, might help with my hands. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is the ones that I have too. These are the Lion brand ones that I have. They're called Stress Relief Gloves. Comfort, comfortable support to make your your work easier for knitters, crocheters, sewers, quilters, and keyboard users. How about that? So I have both. I have the one and then I have these as well. So do they work too, Kelly? I think, I believe they do work. I, for some reason, I like the one, the single one. Um, I use those more than I use these. Okay. Okay. But that's just my preference, right? Yeah. Um, when I knit, I'll put these on, right? So these are fourteen nine sixty nine. Um, so I do have these as well. I bought them from. I think I did purchase these ones also from Joann's. So yeah. Mm -hmm. All yep. right. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let's see. You said I have two pairs, a blue and one tan. Oh, okay. And hey there, Lord's Block Ministries. What a blessing to see you here. And just in the back, brainstorming to make my yearly mask. Oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. You said that's it. Yeah, those are the ones I have. I have those as well. Where are they? Do they? Do I have them up here? 
they might be, if they're not up here, they are definitely downstairs where I'll be getting jiggy with it. Shall I be working? Hi, Raven. No, you're okay, Raven. I'm not, I'm here. Let me close this. Stay right there, little girl. But I do use this one a lot more. Hey there, Quilty a Crocheter. Hi, Q Linda. I'm good. How are you? Welcome in. So this is the one. This is the one I tell you. I use this one a lot more than I use the blue ones. The blue ones I use, those are downstairs, but um, for knitting mostly because, yeah. It's great to see you, Quilty Crocheter. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that. If y'all haven't had a chance yet, feel free to hit the thumbs up, family. Hit the thumbs up. Yeah. So we are, but yeah, I always, you know, one thing is 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 key in this in this uh, wonderful crafting space in which we live is to protect your hands at all costs. Do pre-maintenance pre on your hands, like stretch your hands, you know what I mean? And um, protect them as much as you possibly can, even if you don't have any problems. And, you know, take a break every few, you know, I would say 15 to 30 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes in between stitches because that helps too if you take a little break and then pick it up and crochet it again like take a take you know once you've crocheted for about 15 minutes stop for a little bit chill go grab you something to drink or whatever and then come back and then get jiggy with it all over again if you take some breaks you know take breaks often and I think it's very helpful when you take breaks from crocheting while, you know, while you're crocheting, right? I take uh, breaks when I crochet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Just take little breaks here and there and relax your hands a little bit and loosen up on holding your, how you hold your hook. Don't hold it so tight. Just relax with it. Get jiggy with it, you know? I'm sitting here talking to myself on mute. Oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah. I do the same thing, Q, Linda. I switch between knit and crochet. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good thing, too. So maybe knit a little, crochet a little. Or, you know, once you finish a crochet project, pick up a knitting project. Practice knitting or something. Yeah, like uh, if I need a break and I have if and this is if I have cotton, like I do now, mm -hmm. I'll you know I'll take a break from let's say working on a blanket and then I'll knit an entire dish cloth mm -hmm. and then and then go back to um crocheting. Yeah, yeah, because you're doing repetitive motions, you want your hands to you know you want them. You don't want to deal with the pain of that. Yeah. And then I have um I I got to find them. They're around here somewhere so I can show you what they are. But they strengthen your wrist. They look like um pliers, but they're not and you squeeze them and you uh squeeze them like this. They look like pliers, but they're not. They're uh, it's a exercise thing and it strengthens your your uh, wrist and everything, but I know exactly what you're talking about. I have those. They're around here somewhere. Mines are blue. <laughs> they ours are blue. Are, mm -hmm. Ours are probably a million years old and they're black. Yeah. Yeah. We've had those. those things since I've, we've had those things as for as long as I can remember. Yeah. Use those and strengthen those muscles. Yeah. VJ says vice grips. Yeah. Yeah. They like vice. Did I say pliers? Well, yeah. Vice grips, yeah, they look like that, and you squeeze them, 
Yeah, you can buy them at the, um, you can get them at Walmart has them in the sports section, but you use those and you just squeeze them and to strengthen your hands. I think it's it's great to, to do. And Quilty said, yes, I switched crochet for a while, then knit for a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, vice scripts, yeah. You said, I used to, now I use stress balls. Stress balls are good too. Yeah. Stress balls are good too. So when you're holding your crochet hook, my dad was an artist. And um, I tell you what, he could draw for a very long time. It's because he barely held his utensil in his hand. I mean, he literally was so um he didn't have any tension in his hand while he was doing his work and that's the thing we need to uh really learn how to you know i think sometimes we get a little get in a space where we're gripping holding our hooks or or crochet our crochet hooks or our um knitting needles a little little tough holding them like holding them for on for dear life when you don't have to hold them for hold on for dear life. You can just be loose with it and uh and you can crochet with it or knit with it um without without being so uh tense. Because I notice, I mean, I used to hold my pencil like that. I could write neat, but boy, would I grip that pencil so hard. <laughs> and I'm like, why? And then I and then my hand would hurt. I would get a cramp in my hand. Oh my gosh. And my dad told me because I wrote slow and I thought if I gripped it tighter that I could write faster and I just can't, I still write slow. So my, um, so now people think when I write my name, I draw when I write, they say, Oh, you're not writing your name. You're drawing your name. <laughs> if I sign something, it's like, they're like, you're not, writing your drawing. I'm like, whatever, man. Listen, this is this is as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> it's fun though. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, stress balls are great. Yeah, you can use those too for sure. You said I crochet that way. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Hey there, sifting some soil and more. Welcome in. Hey Mona. Welcome in. Hey, Mona. How are you? All right. Thanks for coming. So I'll show you how I hold my pencil. Okay. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, I used to do that. <laughs> that's too that's too rough. Um, let's see. Well, it's it's like it's it's barely sitting here. Mm hmm But I tend to, you know, I go like this. Yes, that's how I would hold mine and I would be, but now I just hold it, barely holding it. And I write my name, I write, but I write slow. I hold my crochet pins like this, but I, when I, I may both way, I crochet this way or I made knife order and I crochet it this way too. Yeah. So, so you, whatever you gotta... I feel like doing, I crochet, you know, that way. Or I do oh. like this way. Oh, for sure. And I think that's great too. So however you want to hold it is fine. If you're a pencil holder, if you're a knife holder, I'm in between. I am in between. So how I hold mine is so I barely hold it like this. So it looks like I'm holding like a pen, but then I, I basically hold it like this. And it's very oh. fuzzy in my hand. You can see it, it's moving yeah. like if you it'll it could fall out. <laughs> <laughs> it could fall out, but can charge those clubs. But but that's why I held it like that, and then I'm just really so I'm I'm a cross between a knife pencil holder. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but um, so yeah, that's how I hold it. Hi, Linda. Hi, Mona. I don't know if I said hi to you guys yet. Uh -huh. 
Yep. So but that's what we do, guys. So we just try to uh, take care of our hands as much as possible. And I just bought those clothes. That quote that you show me. What oh, you like the one that the one that I have. Yeah. 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 yeah I like oh. this one. I like it. Um, but the blue ones, I use those for knitting. Mm hmm. Well, I want to do the try this one first. And mm -hmm. if I like it, I would buy another one. Yeah, I got I got two of them, but I use it only on one hand, which is crazy. <laughs> so it's yeah. like. I have two of these. I I don't know. Yeah. Look, I'm so glad I got back on here talking to you, Kelly. Before on my phone, I couldn't even do it because my phone was that key, and the phone stream yard does not work for me anymore. So. I got this laptop. Ever since I got this laptop, it works better for me. Yeah. That's cool. And yeah. I do my lights on here now on my on my laptop. And oh, all that's that. great. So, that's great. I think, so. yeah. Yeah, I have a desktop. And so that's where I'm at. I do my lives on my desktop. I used to have a laptop. But that thing was not happy with me. So it started getting attitudes. So I ended up going the desktop route. And so I'm happy with the decision. Um, yeah. Yep. But I, I do like laptop because you can take it anywhere. Yep. So it's not that I can't do it on my laptop my laptop was just old and i need a new one right so i just ended up doing a desktop at this point and then i'm going to get another laptop and if i you know when i go out of town and things like that and want to go live I, i'll bring my laptop with me yep mm -hmm. no i like this i i have this about maybe two weeks now so it's okay. still pretty new and um it's good. I try it. Do short lives on YouTube one day, and I done live on Restream and Streamyard mm -hmm. already. So okay. So I which can, one do you like the best? If they both have their pros and cons. I think. Yeah, it, they do. Um, well, I like Restream better because it doesn't have any limit how long you can do your your lives. Because 20 hours on StreamYard, and if I have go over, you know, it's just like, I don't like to do that. So, mm -hmm. hello, Chandler. Hey, Chandler. Uh, rocks with Yarn. Welcome in. Hey, Chandler. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. But yeah, so that's, I, I see a lot different than I've been, since I've done lives. Mm-hmm. See what I like the best, and since I got this computer, I really enjoy it. So, yeah, yeah. So that's cool. So. Well, I'm gonna let you go. I All think right. I, have, I will probably come up next Tuesday. I don't know yet, but okay. I but I think you. Point get what I've been working on, so well, I appreciate you sharing that with us all. So, it's very you're beautiful. Welcome. Thank you're you. You're doing you're Thank doing you. great work over there. Keep it up, keep up the great work, Lydia. Thank you. All right, I never yeah. see you in YouTube streets. All right, all Come right, here. all right. Hugs and love to you. I love you guys. <laughs> all right, see you later, dear. Yes. All right. Y'all give it up for Lydia. It's always great to have wonderful, wonderful Yarny family come up and just hang out with us. It's always good. What a good day it is. Yeah. So, yep, I'm still getting trying to get rid of this disrespectful yarn. <laughs> I call it disrespectful because it be out here 
it's all knotty and halo-y and splitty. Yeah, let's see. Cammy, what kind of hook is that? A pointy one. <laughs> it's a needle. It's a, a knitting needle. Looks like he's working with. Yep. So are you doing the um, chevron blanket on your knitting needles? No, I uh, I ended up taking it out because my counts weren't uh, working out, so I ended up uh, knitting. I'm like, I'll knit like I was planning to do with this skein anyway. Oh, okay. And then the next, I got another ball of this thread, and I'll uh, knit my cousin up two dish, or crochet her up two dish cloths. Oh, okay, cool. That's that's cool. That's gonna work out. And then I got her husband. Her husband wants some washcloths for himself in the shower. Oh, okay. And because he saw me give another cousin um, some, he's like, "I want some." Oh, okay. Well, hey, you can't you can't leave him out. Definitely got to hook him up. You know how it goes. My family, yeah. I don't know if your family's like my family, but honey, if I give somebody something in my family that I have crochet. My younger sister, my baby sister be out here like, I want one. I'm like, girl, but I made you something already. She's like, I want that too. My sister greedy. <laughs> she, listen, Gail said, you are talented, Cammy. Absolutely. Does anybody else in the chat have a family member like mine? who sees you give something to a family member and they want one to. I know my sister does. My sister does. And child, I got to hide when I make a stuff from her because she going to, or just go ahead and make another one. Be like, girl, here, <laughs> here, just take it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's, it be like that. I had to tell her here. Gone with your bad self. Yeah. Yeah, you said, um, let's see. Hey, T.S., welcome in. You said, Laverell, I want one. Well, learn to crochet. <laughs> yeah, my sister is not that one. She ain't crocheting nothing. She'd be like, hmm, make me one. Thank you. Yes. Um, you said, I'd love all the things that you made or will make. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You said, yes, my, my oldest daughter. See, I knew somebody had one. It's always that one person in the family that be coming over here being greedy. They be like, Ooh, can you make me one? I'm scared when I start this Sonic the Hedgehog, when my sister sees that, I think she's going to want that too. I want one. I'm like, girl, she asked me, she says it like that, like she's like she uh 11 years old. Okay. I want one. Can I have it? Can I get one? Can you where's mine? <laughs> That's what she where's mine? <laughs> I'm like, girl, 
And I felt like my daughter is like that, but I make her buy the yarn and always tell her it's more than needed. Absolutely. Cause you don't want to run out. Okay. You don't want to run out. That's the thing. You definitely don't want to run out of yarn. So I totally get that though, for sure. And Janet says, it happens when I bring something to church. Yep, somebody over there always won some, ain't they? <laughs> and what you say, you said, mine says, you made that for me, right? <laughs> yeah, Quilty cry, uh, Crochet, that's what they be saying, is that you got one for me. Uh, that's my sister. She, you got, where is it? Uh, <laughs> oh, not worried about running out. I get free yarn that way. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You'd be like, look, you got to buy me a bunch of yarn if you want to want me to make you something, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was going to show you my frothy thingy I got oh, on Sunday. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's see what you got. So, kitty. Well, here, let me, let me make you big so yep. we can see it. I'll wait. So it comes with its own little stand. Oh, nice. And it, I've got some foam left in my, so that's kind of what it does. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. For your drinks, for your coffee drinks or whatnot. Yep. And I've been having fun with it. Okay, Cammy, that's nice. Look at you, buddy. He out here getting jiggy with it. Okay. And I've named him Frosty. Frosty the Frother. Yep. <laughs> okay. You said, I always overestimate by at least two skeins. Enough to make a scarf or such. Oh, absolutely. Now, if absolutely. someone wanted me to make him a scarf, I'd say, I need at least two skeins plus an, ex an extra eight and a half. You know, another nine. Another nine what? Skeins of yarn. Oh my goodness, you be now that's greedy, Cammy. Well, no, I'm gonna say, well, this one guy, he's fairly tall. Oh. I'm gonna say he's he's well over six foot. Mm -hmm. And you know, you'd want to make him a really tall skein, you know, so I'd use probably three and then have four extra for myself. Oh, I see what you're saying. Look at you, you still that's still a lot, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that's still a lot oh my goodness i know right right to yes she's like laugh out loud right there yeah okay so yeah so anything i can do to get rid of this disrespectful yarn right now this i'm still in my squirrel phase guys this is the squirrel moment issues Cause I have other things that I have to get done, but I'm like going not till I get this, uh, the, this, uh, yarn that get on my nerves out the way. Yeah. So I am writing this pattern out for the Sonic the Hedgehog. And it is taking some time family. Because I have to. Every time I write the pattern out. Like I'll do one row at a time. Of course that's the only way to do it. But you have to say. Which way you're going to be crocheting. What side you're going to be crocheting on. So um, the right side is like. From right to left. And um, I have to put an arrow pointing right to left and then i write in there rs for right side okay and then for the wrong side i put our arrow the other way so um i feel like this is going to be at least 20 25 pages of pattern when i get it when i'm all done 
Oh, that's too much. I know, but I want to do it. This is it. I showed you, right? Yep. It's well, I'll show again. This is this is it right here. And um, you can see it's a grid, but you can't see the numbers, but it's 203 rows, right? 203 rows, and it's 129, 129 stitches this way. So I had to, ch I would chain 130 and then get jiggy with it, but I have to write this out. So, so far I am, where am I on this? Gosh. I'm on row 89. So I am down here. This is where I'm at on this pr pattern. I'm down. I'm down in here somewhere, guys. Yeah. So I had started writing it out and then I changed my mind and I started typing it out. So I'll show you what it looks like when I wrote it out. This is but I'm telling you, uh, I started writing it out. Maybe it's in here. Is it in here? I don't know if it's in here. It's not in this one. It's in my purple one. I think it's in my purple one. Yeah. It's in my purple one. Let me show you. So this is, this is what it looks like on my purple one. And even though I wrote it out in here, let me show you. See all that right out? The arrows are going this day, way and that way and all that. That was just the bottom. This, I mean, this was already the same Solo amount of yourself. pages. Oh, yeah. Oh, I should, shouldn't I? Yeah. So when you get a pattern that doesn't come with, you just get the digital pattern only, you're going to have to either... You're still going to have to count these bad boys out, no matter how you do it. So this is some of it. I wrote down, that's, um, yeah, that was all the way up to row 48. But um, I'm now on 80. 89. I'm at row 89 and I have to start there. So So yeah, that's a lot. All right. Um, let's see. You said Kelly, I sent out 159 hats today to foster kids. It really warms my heart to see the smiles. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wish I could crochet that fast. Me too, TS. I'll be, listen. You say hee hee to me. That screams tapestry mosaic. Simple, simple. Yeah. That is wonderful. Janet out here getting jiggy with it, guys. I'm telling you, she's amazing. Wow, Kelly, that's going to be awesome. It is once I get that, um, once I get that, you said, oh, my word, too much for me. Kudos to Ke you, Kelly. Yeah, well, I thought it was going to come with the daggone instructions. When And it, then I saw it said digital pattern only. I'm like, well, <laughs> and I knew, I knew, I said, oh. I'll get to this as soon as I possibly can. So I just started writing and started getting jiggy with it. So every day I've been working on it, but, and I have to count each row. Once I get done, I have to calculate it. So to make sure I have the 129 stitches, if I don't, I can mess up that pattern and I'm not going to mess it up. So I have the calculator on my computer and being that I typed it up, I type it up. Um, and then I, once I type up the, the row, I finished getting it all done. I pull out the calculator and start calculating those numbers in that row to make sure I have 129 stitches. Cause I have missed where I thought I put, uh, two 
and I put a one. Now to go back and look at the pattern and see where I messed up and fix it. Yep. Before I move on. So I have to take my time with it to make sure that it's right. So you got to do, you got to do your due diligence, honey. And I want to do the pattern. So, and this is great practice for me. So I ain't tripping. You said, yep, those patterns, you have to be exact or, or you doing a lot of frogging. Yeah. And I'm not going to, yeah. So I figure if I get the, if I get those numbers, right, I tell you what, once I get it right, I'm good to go. I know what the first 15 rows are going to be like. I already got them. They're going to be one solid color. So I'm worried about that. It's after the row 15. That's when all the colors start changing. Yeah. So that Ruby Frankie case I've been following. Yeah. Uh-huh. They, uh, they've released a lot of new stuff on that. So I've been watching that. Oh, okay. Well, I was telling my mom, if I hadn't have been one of her subscribers, I probably mm -hmm. would have cared less. Yeah. But as seeing I was one of her subscribers, mm -hmm. I think that's why I'm a little more interested in it. And I know her kid, you know, I know, I know her kids too. I know every one of their names. Yeah. It's sad. It is. The husband didn't know. How did he not? Did he not live there? He did, but I don't know. This was, um, I don't know if this was going on when they were together before. So she was with this lady, this therapist. Uh huh. Well, he was technically a mental counselor, which is not a therapist. Mm hmm. And so Ruby went to go live with her, uh, this Jody Hildebrandt. Mm hmm. And so she's like, oh, you know, your marriage is horrible. You know, Kevin, your husband needs to kick, you know, you need to kick him out and you need to come and live with me and he cannot see his kids. Why would she do that? Because if he would have stayed, their marriage would have, you know, their relationship would have gone in turmoil and their marriage would have been kaputs. Hmm. So she's like, okay. So, and they pretty much... In, so Ruby said to her husband, Kevin, you know, don't have, don't initiate, if I want to talk, if you want to talk to me, right, or I want, if I want to talk to you, I'll initiate it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, do not contact me. Mm -hmm. So, and that was in May of last year, and Jody Hildebrandt mm -hmm. and Ruby Frankie got arrested on August 30th. Hmm. That's and good. so I'm like, so let's say Jody was the one doing the all the nasty things. Okay. Even if even if she was brainwashed, I'm like, wouldn't you have stepped in and stopped it, Ruby? Why is she doing these things to your children? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and she basically, her sister, Bonnie, the one uh, that's like three, four years younger than her, uh -huh. came, came out and said, um, you know, or no, it was her, her, the sister after that, she goes, we basically said, we don't like what you're saying at Connections, and we don't like its preachings. So stop coming around here. You either no no you either stop or you quit coming around because we don't like it. I'm sorry. This was was, was her sister, so I guess you know she was saying all these things and you know do this, do that. So she's like they're like you know Ruby, we don't like it. So either you stop talking, you know, stop talking about connections around us completely, or don't bother coming around. Hmm. So she took the connections route and quit seeing her family. And I'm subscribed to, well, I'm no longer subscribed to Ruby's channel, but I'm subscribed mm -hmm. to her, both her sisters and her parents. Mm -hmm. And one day her mother put out a video of her sitting with, you know, you could tell she was holding the camera like this. Mm -hmm. in a hospital gown 
in a hospital bed. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't bear to watch it. And come to find out that yeah. Ruby, Ruby had called her and accused her of giving them a bad, horrible childhood. And, you know, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. You did this, you did that. And basically caused her mother to have a heart attack. Mm. Wow. Well, okay. So the, yeah, they, I know they got some bad things going on. I just, all I, all I was wondering, it was just about the husband, if he was even there. So she obviously left her husband and had, had the kids and was doing whatever she wanted to with the kids. Yep. Okay. But is, you know, I don't know, obviously, you know, we didn't know what was going on behind the scenes mm -hmm. of their videos. Right. Yeah, you're not going to see all that because uh, you wouldn't condone the behavior that she had done to uh, those children. All right, let me see. Uh, Quilty said, I got to go. i uh, getting up real early in the morning. Bye-bye, everyone. Okay, Quilty Crocheter, blessings to you. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. And if yeah. the, if if she would have, if I would have seen that, you know, you know me, Kelly, I'd have unsubscribed right away. Mm -hmm. But they were, they keep playing this clip. This was when they were at their old house. Mm -hmm. So they lived in one house, then moved to, to another. And then they moved Ruby and her two youngest moved to Ivan's Utah mm -hmm. from Springville. Mm -hmm. Maybe and their husband will get the kids. He's, I think he's got them. Cause I looked at the Utah department of uh, children's services and they weren't mm -hmm. there. So I think they he ended up getting them out of foster care. He and he should. He's the dad, and <laughs> and he should have them. Right, but anyway, so I can I I've seen both of their houses. Mm -hmm. So I know if you know they show a newer video compared to an older one, I know which house is which. Yeah, and I've never seen this video. The one they keep playing, but he goes, "My kids are literally star literally starving." And I don't think they should eat until they get their chores done. And I'm like, yeah. excuse you? Yeah. No, the okay. children eat before they do their chores. I don't yeah. care who you are. Yeah, I don't know why she was being a jerk to her children. She was just trying to show that she can discipline her kids and her right. kids are well behaved and all that dumb stuff. I mean, stuff that's important, but not the way she she went about it all the wrong way. Right. You don't you don't you don't put fear in your children like that. You don't you don't abuse them. You, right. you don't miss you don't neglect them because of you, you just don't do it. But you know, I I'll pray <clears throat> for the kids that they get healed because to go through something like that is something to be Yeah, and, my, and I told my mom and you know, my mom had seen it how they starved the, you know, Basically, I don't the know. the twelve year old uh, Russell. Mm -hmm. You could, I mean, you know, even though they kind of burnt his shirt out, mm -hmm. so you couldn't see it. But when he was standing up far away, you could tell he was emaciated, mm -hmm. and his, and his bony knees. And I'm like, and my mom said, she goes, I would, I would never deprive you guys, you and uh, your sister, of food. Yeah, you never, don't use never. that as a as a, a way of punishing people. She right. she's something else. Um, so I pray uh, for the kids that they get healed, and oh, I pray that that lady gets the help she needs because she's obviously outside of her mind. And uh, well, then they were um playing the jailhouse calls, and the first couple you could tell she was kind of you know still in that zone of being brainwashed, and then you know. Now she, I think she's somewhat getting um, better. Yeah, because I'm telling you, if you don't have the vitamins and minerals that your body needs, you can you can go into depression and all kind of stuff. Oh, you yeah. gotta you gotta have certain there's certain things that your body needs to keep your your you know your focus and everything, and then you know you need those vitamins. It's key for your body, you know, to grow. Yeah, and all that. So yeah, let me see. Um, Hola, Maritza. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. 
And we got uh, Angelise. Hello, Angelise. Welcome in. Good to see you. You said my daughter was a social worker for children's services in Ohio. Oh, yeah. She got burned out quickly. Now she is the head of children's ministries in Indiana. Oh, wow. That's awesome, Gail. Yeah, I, I agree. It's easy to do because you see people's families that just are mistreating these children. And um, some of them, they don't have. I mean, you have to send them back to these homes where you know it's not good, but the courts is like, cool, they can still stay there. You know, it's a whole thing. Yep. Okay. You said, hello, uh, Crafty. Hello, EJ's daughters. Welcome in. I'm crocheting a dishcloth. You said, Kelly, I'm going to go. I don't like to hear about abuse. I'm sorry. We should have said trigger warning. We're not going to talk about it no more. You don't have to leave. We're not talking about it no more. No more. If I triggered anybody, please forgive me. We just, um, he was just sharing about, uh, something that, uh, he had been watching a case he's been following. Yep. So, um, we, we're not talking about that no more. Okay. All right. We here for the crochet and all things good and lovely. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, um, yeah, that's it. But I understand if you got to go, I understand. So please forgive us here. That was not intentional to trigger anybody. So please forgive. Please forgive me for that. We won't do that anymore. All right. So, yeah, I'm working on a dishcloth too. Yeah. He said, amen, Kelly. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We're here for all things lovely. And because, honey, we already know it's crazy out here and we... We definitely want a space where we don't have to worry about those type of things or trigger you in that space. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'm doing a dishcloth too, EJ's. Well, this is going to be a, this is going to be a uh, hanging uh, towel, mm -hmm, a dish towel. Mm -hmm. Hey, Vivian, welcome in. What What is the slash? <laughs> Vivian, welcome. Okay. <laughs> You said, um, hello. Oh, okay. Oh, did you buy that? What's it called? Tajin over the weekend. It's good on my salad. I got to try it. I've never had that before. You said, I'm working on a hat. Oh, okay, cool. What kind of hat are you doing? Are you doing what? You know what? Let's talk about a Gen X because you'll be getting hats done really fast, girl. I got to ask you. What stitch are you doing for this hat? That's what I want to know. I want to know what stitches are we doing for this hat you, you making? You said, good evening, everyone. Good to be back. Good to see you, Vivian. I pray all is well with you. You said, trying to decide... If I want to just use the entire skein of cotton to make a kitten towel or not. Okay. That sounds cool. You said, Janet, I need you to make me a hat. <laughs> okay. Look at here. Listen, you got Gail out here wanting hats and everything. Glad you like it, Rochelle. I have to get some chamoy. What's that? Y'all be coming up with food items I ain't never heard of before. You said a single crochet. Okay. Oh, okay. So is it like a beanie then? Are you doing like beanies? You said kitchen towel. Eesh, I hate small keyboards. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you meant kitchen towel, not kitten towel. <laughs> okay, T.S., I got you. <laughs> Hey, that Darla girl, welcome in. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. You said yes. Okay. Oh, so you're doing the beanies. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Y'all are so cute out here, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing for this um hanging dishcloth dish towel. I mean, 
So we're going to keep going, keep going. And now I'm going to try to figure out which stitch after when I get to row 52, I'm going to figure out if that is the row that I'm going to um, do a, uh, I'm going to do a slip stitch. I'm going to kind of make a design in the middle. So it'll be kind of cute. And it's going to be probably a, a I might do a extended single crochet space, single uh, extended single crochet as the designer row, so to speak, to separate that before I start to go into the decrease. Yeah. You said um, I had my second day of class today. Okay, that darling girl, let's go. How'd it go? You said no matter, and no matter where I go, my crochet goes with me. I hear that. Yeah, you take it with you. Listen, I take crochet to work too. That doesn't mean I get to work on it all the time, but I try to. I'll be trying to. Mm -hmm. I'll be out here trying to get jiggy with it. Yeah, I think one of my meetings got canceled yesterday, so that's all right. I'm going to be working on trying to get this pattern finished. I take my time with it, but um, the pattern I'm working on. Mm -hmm. Kelly, I'm donating my dish cloths to Ronald McDonald House for their kitchens. <gasps> that is a great idea. I love it. I love it, EJs. You said, I have a super amazing instructor. She makes learning fun. It's always great to have an instructor that makes uh, learning fun. Let me tell you something. I had this instructor when I was in college. It was I had to take algebra. Y'all know college algebra be out here. Anyway, I've never done it. Oh, okay. It, well, it's crazy. Uh, <laughs> let me just say that. We already know math regular is something, but when you have to take college algebra, if you haven't been to college, that's okay. Don't worry about it. It's just a crazy, it's just algebra to a whole nother level. But let me tell you what, she made that class so fun that you would never on the, you would never think you were in a math class. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think you were in a math class. And I struggled with algebra, but honey, let me tell you, when she was my instructor, I got an A in that class because of how she taught. She made it so fun that when you would walk by the class, you'd be like, is that an English class or is that an algebra class? What kind of class is that? I loved it. Loved it. You say I have even knitted sailor hats for the Navy. Wow, that's awesome. TS said, I took my out college algebra class in the summer of all things and passed with a B. Actually understood it. Yes. Listen, I had to take, look, I'm going to tell you what. I had to take, um, I went to the tutor's lounge to learn how to use the calculator because I wanted to learn quickly. You know, those TI-85s, it was a TI-82 or TI-83. Man, somebody got my calculator. They still got that calculator. I spent money on that thing. I let somebody borrow at work. Man, I ain't seen that calculator since. But anyway, it don't matter. I don't need it. Uh, <laughs> but that calculator did all the things, okay? Yeah, you still got yours. Yep, I still have my TI. Yeah, it's Texas Instrument, guys. Those those calculators, um, the ones that we had to use was the calculator we used was a TI-83 or 82. And I think I had 83. Then they went to 84s, there's 86s and all that. So you'll see that all the calculators are for different things. So I had a TI-83. It was just an upgrade from the TI-82 at that at that time. I was like, I'm going to get me that calculator. I got that thing. I was like, whoo, what am I supposed to do with this? 
man, I went to the daggone uh, Tudor's Lounge area and they had a video for that. So you can watch the whole video. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Uh, 80, 83, 84. Maybe that's what I had. I can't remember. It's one of those. I know it's so, TI 82, 83, 84. Mm-hmm. My um, fifth grade teacher's retiring. Oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> and I said to her, you know, I tagged her and I said, you taught me. And I, I and the reason why I put this is because I wasn't sure if you'd remember me, but she did. Mm-hmm. I said, you taught me at the in the fifth grade at Kettering. What seems like an eternity, like an eternity ago, you were one of my favorite teachers I ever had. You deserve every one of your days off in retirement. You encouraged so many teachers, so many students. You have encouraged many students during your tenure as a teacher mm-hmm. and principal. Oh, and she said, Cameron Gregg, I remember you fondly. Thank you. She Aww. was. She even though you know. And you seeing I was um a sped, what is bas- that's a derogatory term for uh special ed, but uh, you know, we ignored it as kids. Mm-hmm. And so every year I didn't have to do one specific subject. So one year I wouldn't have to do social studies because mm-hmm. you know, I'd go do that in, in a different class, or one year I wouldn't have to do math, uh math or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. So on those days when I didn't have to do that one specific subject, the teacher mm-hmm. would let me, um, she'd get pull up like, um, you know, learning games on the computer so I could play them. Mm-hmm. And at that time, my whole tenure at Kettering, which was two blocks up the street, mm-hmm. um, they would, the secretary would make an announcement for p- uh, pills. Oh, okay. Because, you know, some people had to take pills. Yeah, during school, me yeah. being one of me being one of them. Mm-hmm. And okay. I'm actually back on those pills now. Oh wow! Okay. Well, I tell you what. Um, that's great that you had a wonderful teacher. That oh yeah, you know that was a blessing to you and other students. It's always nice to find that one teacher. I mean, if I could say that algebra teacher I had, she was my favorite, and yep. she not only was my favorite. She was everybody's favorite. And when people heard of her, they wanted to get in her class. So as soon as I seen her name on that roster, man, I jumped in that class with the quickness because I heard she was amazing. And then after that, they stopped putting the instructor's names on the uh, classes. You wouldn't know who you were going to get that was teaching. I think that was right. They should have just left it because certain people... You need some people learn better from certain people. Yeah, like my sister learned better from males, mm-hmm. and I learned better from females. Mm-hmm. And that's just the way we were. Like, and another teacher that encouraged me, mm-hmm. and she got um, she promoted me to um, concert class, concert choir, okay. in my freshman year, and my sixth, my seventh grade year. You know, she she pretty much let me do what whatever I wanted within reason. Mm-hmm. And like it, when her son didn't have class, she'd mm-hmm. bring him in. She'd bring him in, and I'd be kind of like his babysitter. Mm-hmm. She'd let me go play with games with him, or you know, bring him out. You know, take him around the school. Mm-hmm. And you know, so, and then unfortunately, she passed away. God rest her children. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see what EJ is saying. She said, I love college algebra so much that I took it twice. Laugh out loud. Flunked the first one. The second teacher made all the difference. I got rid of my TI uh, 83 after 10 years. Yeah. Hey, hey, I understand. Hey there, uh, Lisa Nitz and vlogs. Welcome in. She said, hi, Kelly and Cammie. Hi, Lisa. Uh, hello. Now, Gail says now the kids have their phones that they can do all those calculations and more. Yeah, for sure. The first time I took college algebra twice, I got a D minus the first time. The second time I got a C. That's a blessing. You got to see. Yeah, I took it. Um, I, I told him I wasn't taking it twice. I had to get it. 
I was like, look, I got to pass this. I ain't no way I'm taking this no more. So she, she said, yeah, I got the B in algebra. Didn't apply myself because, well, it was summer. There was other things to focus on. Isn't that the truth? And uh, sometimes you can learn better from children. That is true. Yeah. yeah. I also had a tutor for my uh, algebra, I had, which was a kid because she was younger than me. I look, I, it's like I had went back to school after nine years and to go get in the mold of things. And the first thing I'm taking is college algebra. I was like, I don't even remember this stuff. We, we going to see. Bye, Darla. She said, I need to get uh, start getting ready for bed. I have class tomorrow. Bye, y'all. Oh, bye, all. All right, Darla. May the most high bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Have a great time in class tomorrow. Yeah. Like our one of our teachers, I forget what grade it was, but it was junior high. And she tried this poor lady. God rest her soul. And God lay her hands on his hands on her. That woman tried to teach us special ed children how to do algebra. Mm -hmm. Within 20 minutes, she goes, I give up. She goes, it's obvious y'all can't do it. Yeah. Well, you know, like I said, I mean, she tried, I, she tried, she tried, you know, that's fine. Every single, every single way she knew how. That's fine. Everybody can't listen. Let me listen to what I'm telling you. Everybody can't male, female. It don't matter if, there is a method in which a person teaches that you can understand it. I needed somebody like the algebra teacher I had to understand it because other algebra teachers I've had, it was hard. It was difficult. I couldn't get it. I was trying to understand, but even though I barely made it with a low C and like algebra one and two, woo wee. I barely made it because it was so hard. But once I got in this lady's class and the way she taught, the way she broke it down, the way she moved things around to the time she took with me after class, I think that was the big deal too. She took time after class with me and spent another hour with me, just me. And I was like, who does that to make like sure I you got, got it. it. Like my and sister. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. She, I said to her, I said, sissy, you know, what is that? She goes, algebra. algebra. And she goes, you want to learn it? I said, I'll try. Now, the way she explained it, I, un I didn't, it didn't click. Mm -hmm. But I understood it. Mm -hmm. I think because, you know, the teacher didn't know how to talk to us properly that's, about that's it. what i'm trying to tell you it don't but, listen mm -hmm. it's it's the way somebody can show you specifically they can teach my to who you are right and that that's my sister she knows how to get to me directly yeah she can and same with my mom those two know specifically how to teach me how to do something that's right mm -hmm. like like my everybody dad, don't know mm-hmm like my dad, not so much. Right. He's a he's a little too impatient. Right. But my mom and sister, even I, I can explain. Like for my birthday or whatever, I'm like, I want this, and it looks like this with this kind of functions. Mm -hmm. And one of the two of them will get it. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, they're like, "Give me some more clues of what it is." And I'm like, "Okay, it does this." And this with it, and it does this and this, and they're like, okay. And then mm -hmm. they'll go, and they're like, nope, I need more. And I'm like, okay, it's it. And then you know, after that third clue, they're like, okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. Cause and I that, don't know how to explain myself right, but I can give them, you know, bits and pieces of what it is. Yeah. And but, they're like, okay, I got it. And that's all I'm saying is that there are certain people that can show you in a classroom setting or in a college setting where you're like this one person out of maybe 50 students in a class and everybody gets it, but you, it's like, ah, ah, you got to show me different. And to have that was, it meant so much to me, so much. But anyway, uh, she said, I have tomorrow 
and Thursday off. We and my interview on Thursday, excited, but trying to not get too hopeful. Well, honey, you got it. If it's for you, it's for you. Go in there with the power and, and the confidence that you have. And um, if, if listen, if you don't get it, you know it wasn't because of you. Because you're going to go in there with everything that's in you to get what you got. Uh huh. And college isn't for everyone. And you're right. It isn't. And that's okay. God has given us different gifts that are a blessing too. Absolutely. Gail, you are so right. Yeah. I'm just talking about school period, because let me tell you, they, um, said, um, when I was younger, they wanted to put me on medicine. They wanted to put me on medicine because they said, um, I was, was a slow learner and I needed help and I couldn't focus and this and that. My mom never put me on no medicine. And, um, my mom said, well, she'll just, she'll just, um, if she gets seized, that's, that'll be great. We don't care, but we're not putting her on no medicine and that ain't happening. So y'all might as well go sit down somewhere. And, um, yeah. And then after that, um, it was like, it was a wrap. And so when I got to college, so I graduated high school with a 2.7, 2.7 or 2.8 grade point average. I'm telling you, I go to college and I graduate with a 3.92. I'm trying to tell you, it's not how it's not. It was because the teachers didn't know how to teach me. That was it. And like my uh, elementary school teacher, one day my best friend and I were fiddling around with a, an instrument he had laying on the floor and he mm -hmm. caught us. Mm -hmm. Now, he, you know, he kind of said, now, you know, is that yours? And we're like, no, sir. And he goes, mm -hmm. you know, why are you touching it? And we're like, because we saw it. He's like, well, do you guys know what it is? And we're like, mm -hmm. no, sir. He go, and he, he said, now that's an auto harp. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he kind of picked it up and showed us. And then the next mm -hmm. day, it seemed, you know, we got in trouble for it. What he did was he pulled it out and played it for us. Mm -hmm. Because of us two mm -hmm. having such a keen interest in it, mm -hmm. he played it for us. And, and now I have one downstairs. Oh, that's so cool, Cammy. And mm -hmm. that man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tuned that auto harp perfectly. And what do I do? Take the tuning wrench and untune it. No, that's all right. That's all right, Cammy. And but I give it to my neighbor and he goes, Cam, you did such a horrible job. I cannot tune this. Well, you can take it somewhere to get it tuned. I'm sure you can take it to a place where they can tune that for you. I hope um, so. There is. You just got to look. Google is your friend. Um, Janet says, I was in a iStore power went out. The cashier could not add things up with paper and pencil. What? That's crazy. Yeah, kids. Yeah, some some people don't know. You said I don't get it. It's because of them not being ready for my greatness. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's all right. You're gonna be fine. T.S. You're gonna go in there. It's gonna be amazing. Hey, Brunel, I'm getting ready to go over to uh, my other appointment, actually. So if you want to come over there, that'll be great. Um, so real quick. And um, Gail said, Kelly, you had a good mom, Kelly. Yeah, I did. She, I mean, she's still, she out here. She be, in, she be out here. <laughs> she's, so, a, she's a good mom. I appreciate her. Believe that. Yeah, I'm going to go over there in, in a few minutes. One oh, more okay. thing before we go. Yeah, for sure. So okay. there was this. If someone, let's say, Kelly, you came into the store, the good old store and bought a piece of furniture. Uh-huh. We had to put a sign on there saying sold. Yeah. You know, the date and who sold it. Mm-hmm. And we had these, you know, those receipts with the carbon copy underneath? Yes. We had those and this lady didn't uh, know how to do it. And I said, Sharnies, watch me. And I'm like, you know, I wrote it down mm -hmm. on the paper and I said, and it came, it leached it through. And I said, this is our copy. Mm -hmm. This is the customer's copy. Mm -hmm. And this is, stays here. So I took the top piece and I put it on the, uh, you know, I taped it on the furniture. Mm -hmm. I took this receipt out to her and I put the other one in the, underneath the, um, 
computer. Oh, okay. She well, goes, how did cool. you know how to do that? And I said, because I do. Well, because you learned like, it. Yeah, and she's like, man, shut up. Well, she goes, she's like, you're just showing off. I said, I know. It's because you're a rock star, Cammy. That's what happens when you're a rock star. Oh, Kelly, you would have, you'd have, you'd like Cerny's. She's a trip uh, and a half. Okay. Well, listen, we're getting ready to head out of here, guys. It has been fun. It's been real fun. We will be back out here again. So, um, but on Thursday, we're going to be over at the Prayer Shawls with um, Purpose. So feel free to come over there. I believe we're going to be working on a new shawl, guys. So come on over. We're going to be working on a new shawl. So stop on through. I'd love to see you over there. Come on in. Come on in the room. Yes. Yeah, so come on over there. Uh, that's going to be Thursday at 1 o'clock um, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, Saturday, we'll be back out here at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Sunday, the Lord willing, 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. No later than 7. Okay? All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. It has been real fun. And I do have to roll out. So y'all stay encouraged, okay? Thank you, Cammie, for being up here. Thank you, Lydia, for coming up here as well. I Listen, I appreciate all of y'all. Thank y'all so much. Let us know how your hanging towel works. I sure will. I sure will. We'll, we'll get, um, I'll show you how it's working out right now. It's still, I told you I crochet slow. This is where I'm at. So I got a little ways to go. Okay. But I'm definitely going to get back at you, uh, Gail, and we're going to get into it. All right. Yes, you can say something. You can say something. Have a blessed night. Um, everyone have a blessed night. Okay. Gloria's Block Ministries. I says, good night. All right, good night. Janet, feel free to say something before we go. Feel free to put it in the chat, dear. Um. You said our, did you say our algebra teacher in high school should have been teaching college level. He was over everyone's head. Now he just needed to learn how to teach y'all. He didn't know how to teach y'all, Michelle. He didn't know how. You said about before I was abused. Oh, okay. Uh, listen, you didn't have to share that, but J J Janet, I am so sorry. I did not know. We did not know. So please, please, please forgive us. Okay. Don't worry. We will not uh, be revisiting uh, a conversation in depth like that. Okay. Um, but, um, uh, you know, I'm sorry to hear hear that. I'm sorry to hear that, honey. And trust and believe you are not alone. I am a one of a kid that was abused as well from babysitters on. And so don't, don't worry. You know, I, I thank the most high for his healing and that I'm able to even talk about it. You know what I mean? That, that did happen uh, to me and my, my uh, siblings uh, when my mom had to go to work. So, yeah. So I, I you know, and family, family members shout, It'd be your own family. So, but anyway, um, I pray that you stay healed from that. I pray that you uh, stay in a good place with the most high and that he heals you and, and that any memory that have come up in that, I pray that the most high would remove those from you and that you just walk in the love and the kindness and his peace and comfort, knowing that you are a wonderful person and that he got your back no matter what. So I appreciate you. Thanks for uh, letting me know that. And so we will keep you lifted in prayer that because I know being a person that had to deal with abuse, that there are things that trigger 
you. And so, um, and it brings up that stuff. And I pray that that stuff is removed from you and that it doesn't uh, hurt your heart and that you continue to hang out with us because we love you. We love you. Okay. So blessings to you and blessings to all, everybody out here that have experienced a, a level of trauma in their life. We will keep you all lifted in prayer that you be healed from the inside out and that, and um, that maybe your testimony can help somebody else somewhere in the world. Okay. But well, we're going to continue in the love of the most high. We're going to continue in uh, peace. We going to continue in kindness and y'all stay encouraged. Okay. But thank you, Janet. I appreciate you, uh, for sharing that. And, um, so we're going to go ahead and bid you all adieu. It was a blessing coming out here, hanging out with y'all. So I hope to see y'all at prayer shawls with purpose on Thursday at one o'clock PM Eastern standard time. We'd love to see you love to have you. Um, and also, Come on back out here where we going to chill and crochet and all the things on Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And again, Sunday at 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. OK, so y'all check out my uh, community tab and you'll see the schedule there. And uh, hopefully we can hang out and continue to be family because I love y'all. Y'all my yarny peeps. Stay blessed, stay encouraged. May the most high bless you and may heaven smile upon you. Until next time, fam, okay? All right. Love y'all. Good night. Bye. <laughs>